Welcome back. June is National Migraine and Headache Awareness Month, and the goal is to build awareness, educate the public, and also reduce the stigma associated with migraines and headaches. Joining us this morning from Gunderson Health System is nurse practitioner Lee Sedlicek. Thank you so much for getting up with us. And she's going to discuss ways with us to prevent headaches and even some treatment options. So good morning. First good of morning. all, what are some treatment options? Well, there's a lot of things that patients can do themselves to improve their lifestyle. Um, we live in a society that's very sleep deprived and so we often are talking to people about getting eight hours of sleep, drinking adequate amounts of fluid, improving their diet, and getting regular exercise. Those are all basic things that help our health but have a big impact on migraines. And when we talk about a headache versus a migraine, what are some of the ways that a person could decipher between the two? Well, we often all get headaches if we have not slept enough or if we get sick, but migraine is really a systemic illness, and individuals typically will have uh, problems with the light bothering their eyes, sounds will seem too loud, they'll be a little nauseated. So, you know, um, commercials on TV often show throbbing over the sinuses, and people think that they're having sinus headache, but when you have a throbbing headache, it's most likely a migraine. And when we talk about when you, when should you use just something from over the counter or when should you actually come in and, and seek treatment from a doctor? Well, it depends on the frequency. If you can use an over the counter medication and the headache is gone within two hours and you're back to normal, that's a pretty effective treatment. But if you're having to do that several days a week and the headache keeps coming back, then you should talk to your primary care provider about your headaches and if this really is something more serious like a migraine condition. And so we talk a lot about we need to find ways to prevent this from first of all happening. You said sleep is important. What are some other things that we should keep in mind? Well, um, sometimes uh, people eat a lot of foods with preservatives. Uh, I think again medications can be helpful if an individual does have frequent uh, migraines, especially if they're interfering with work or your family life then there are a number of medications that an individual can take on a daily basis to help prevent the migraines from happening. Well, thank you for joining us this morning with all of that information. And Alex will be in next with another forecast update.